How to play PS2 games on your smartphone. First, search EtherSX2 and click the download. Choose the first one. Next, scroll down and look for the download button. Click it and choose the newest version. Click download. Next, go back here and choose download BIOS. Then, choose the USA and click the download icon. After that, look for the APK file in your file manager, then install it. Open it. Now, let's set up the emulator. You can just click next to this too. But here, you need to choose which performance preset to use based on your device's specs. If you have a mid or high-end device, you can choose the optimal, safe defaults. But if you have a low-end device, it is recommended to use the fast, unsafe defaults. Since I have a mid-range phone, I chose the first option, then just leave all these by default and click next. Now, let's import the BIOS we downloaded earlier. Select it, then proceed. Here, we need to create a directory for our games. Just create a folder in your file manager, then put your games there. Click the plus button to add your game directory. Here, I created a folder named EtherSX2 and click to use this folder. Then choose allow. Click next, and now, click finish. As you can see, I don't have any games to play yet. To import one, just place the game file in your game directory. Then, after reopening the app, it will appear here. Next, go to the app settings and look for emulation screen orientation. Then choose landscape. After that, go to controller settings and open the touchscreen tab. I recommend switching the touchscreen controller view from single analog pad to dual analog pad. Time to load up a game. And there you have it. Follow these steps to personalize how your games appear in the emulator. First, click this. Next, press the game and select choose cover image. Download the game cover from the internet and select it. There you go. On loop it debaw. How to play PS2 games on your smartphone, part 2. The next step is to configure our controller. To do that, let's open our game and click the pause button. Select the controller icon, go to touch screen, and look for move buttons. You can now arrange the buttons based on your preference. There are also several configurations available when you click the edit menu. There, you can add, resize, change opacity, and many more. And if you're done, you can simply select Exit Editor. Game Time Now. How to play PS2 games on your smartphone, Part 3. First, we need a micro USB OTG adapter to connect our controller. You can get this micro USB OTG adapter, type C OTG adapter, or versatile 2 in 1 OTG adapter from the yellow basket or my showcase. Now, let's set up the controller. Next step, plug in the OTG adapter and navigate to your phone's OTG settings to open it. Then, plug in your controller to the USB port. Since I don't have a direct USB gamepad controller, I used my PS2 to USB converter adapter. Once it's done, we can start mapping the buttons of the controller in the emulator. To do that, just go to controller settings, go to controller port 1, go to automatic mapping, and select the detected controller. As you can see, some buttons didn't get mapped during the automatic mapping. To fix this, we need to manually set new bindings for these buttons. You can also grab this item if you have an existing PS2 controller or get a USB gamepad controller from the yellow basket or my showcase. While you're using your external controller, you can go to controller settings, navigate to touchscreen, find hide with external controller, and turn it on. This will hide the touchscreen controller while you're using the connected one. Laro Moon on Manga Lotta Cakes. Are you also experiencing this kind of lag or FPS drop while playing? All you need to do is go to App Settings and make several changes in any of these tabs based on what your phone can handle. 
Also, you need to know that there are different settings that can be adjusted depending on the game that you're playing. For example, I'm currently using the optimal, safe profile, and I haven't experienced any problems while playing Becerra 2. However, when I play God of War 2, I start to experience constant FPS drops. To fix this, here are some of the changes I made. Please note that these may or may not work on your device. I'm using the optimal, safe profile, and these are the only settings I changed. As you can see, the game is now running smoothly. Don't forget to subscribe.